Vito, are you ready? And the moment of the truth. <laughs> Today we are cooking the most expensive and delicious meat in the world with the master Google food. To be specific, $2,500 of steak. Are you ready, Vito? This is not a clickbait here. This no, is no, 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 no. You are a great master chef in pizza, but today we are cooking steak. And we create the best combination of pizza with steak. The most expensive pizza in the yes. world. Are you ready? I'm, I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> And finally, we arrived to Google Food House. So let's go ahead and let's meet for the first time. Long way from Italy to Miami, and uh, the moment is uh, have arrived. Vito, how are you, my Welcome, brother? Welcome, my brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to thank you so much for. I'm a here. huge fan. I cannot wait to learn pizza from you, my I'm brother. A huge fan of the meat. Oh yeah, well, I'm a huge fan of the pizza, everybody. So, let's go. <laughs> the best combination today. Oh yes, let's... pizza and steak. Let's go. Well, well the best. Let's go. <laughs> pizza Fantastic. and steak, everybody. I cannot wait. Please welcome. Again. This guy have the best meat channel in the internet. Thank oh, you, too. thank you. Well, and you have the best pizza, so it's gonna be a perfect combination. Perfect, yes, <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's not waste the time. I'm gonna. Can I use the kitchen to Please, make everything? Please, it's else? yours. Whatever you need. Because we're gonna make a pizza. Tomorrow. I cannot wait for your pizza, brother. Let's everything go. Everything starts from the Polish. To make the Polish for the, the new people that didn't see this video, it's easy. 300 milliliters of uh, water, five grams of uh, dry yeast, five grams of honey. Mix everything until the yeast is uh, melted. And now let's go ahead and let's add 300 grams of uh, zero zero flour. Now mix everything for a few minutes. Wow. Fantastic, everything starts. It smells so good. Everything starts from the Polish. Polish is a pre-fermented dough where mm. it makes the pizza soft and crunchy at the same time. That's, That's the, the secret. key of the pizza. That's soft a secret. and crunchy. Does yes. this develop flavor or just the, it helps it to uh, rise no, or it, both? Uh, both. Really? Both. You're gonna see. I'm so, excited. <laughs> let's go ahead, let's put a little bit of uh, plastic wrap on top. Done. And now we let it rest one hour at room temperature and 16 to 24 hours in the fridge. And guys, good morning. And uh, like you know, it's uh, the day after. And uh, like I always do on my channel, no secret, this is uh, like the actual timing. Today is the day after, and today is the time of uh, the pizza making. But I want to let you know a little bit uh, uh, my feeling about after meeting Guga Food. Guga is a really nice person, very um, humble person, really real person. That's probably how he got so much success. And uh, I have to say a really big thank you to him because we are learning so much. This guy is super professional, insane how he does the video. Insane. I never see somebody like this. Uh, so I'm, I can't wait to make the dough with him and teach him a couple of secrets. Maybe you're gonna see some videos on uh, his channel. And uh, But today is going to be special because uh, this pizza is going to be unique, promise. So let's go ahead, we're almost there, and I'll uh, see you later. Okay, here we go. We are with the best here, Guga, and we are making the dough. Today, I am, I'm so excited to learn how to make the dough, the real dough. The real. Okay, tell me. Let's start right away that you have mm -hmm. to use a, a mixer. It, it makes the things easier to, to be able to mix and uh, build the gluten much stronger because the goal is to build this, the to gluten. this gluten. Gluten equals glue. It's a glue. So basically the little strings that are inside, you're building that structure. Yes. And this is the, uh, the Polish. That's the fermentation already active. Smell it? it? Smells so good. Yeah. Came all the way to Italy to teach you how to make the best You know, pizza. I've made pizza before, but my pizza... Um... I can't wait to taste your steak. Oh, good. Yeah. And by the way, that, we are my, going my to see... My steak is going to be a lot better than the pizza. The specific grade that we're going to be doing, it's a Kobe beef steak. Yeah, but I cannot now, cook it. I feel, I feel... No, 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 no. no. Vito, you head. teach me how to make a pizza. I'm going to teach you how to cook this steak. So they are lucky because they're going to learn twice. Uh, exactly. Two in one. But at the same time, we're going to do it gradually. Okay. You're first going to cook some two beautiful ribeyes. Then after that, the big boy. The big boy, you're going to do it by yourself. Okay? Hopefully, hopefully you can make it 
<laughs> I can make it properly. It's going to be delicious. Anyway, the Polish. Okay. Uh, 700 milliliters of water, yes. 30 grams of salt, mm -hmm. and uh, 1,400 grams of flour. Got it. Why are you using two separate ones? Why don't you just put this one and this one? Good is this question. a different kind of flour? It's different flour. This is Manitoba flour. Because we want to make a high hydration, we use a stronger flour. Got it. And zero, zero. And zero, zero, okay. So we're going to use 100 grams of uh, Manitoba and one kilogram of zero, zero flour. Plus 300 here. So 1,400 total. Yeah. Got it, okay. And one liter of water. One liter of water. That's the rest. Spend 30 grams of salt. All right, let's so see. So first thing, let's go, let's put uh, the old polish inside the dough machine. So you want to put 80% uh, of water inside and then you can put the 30 grams of salt. Okay, right now, we have to wait that the water becomes white, like the milk. Okay. So now you can grab uh, any flour. Okay. You can go ahead and put it all together. Really? You can put the Manitoba oh, putting too. everything together. Yeah, everything. Oh, okay. And now let's mix it up. And we have to wait that the dough uh, absorbs all the water. Thank you so much. We got some ice here, like you can see. Uh, I touch the water and the water is a little bit uh, uh, too much room temperature. Right. What we're looking here, we have to have uh, the water cold. Wow, it's so interesting that you said that because a lot of people say that you need to have lukewarm water. Warm water kills the gluten. Really? Yes. I want to say a pregnant woman. They have <laughs> nine months waiting for they, the baby. They want to push it out in two months? You cannot, you cannot speed up the time. It has to be nine months. I understand. I, uh, if it a, comes out, if it comes it, off before, it's a problem. That's no good. That's a, that's, <laughs> so, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big problem. Like you can see. Come here, come here. Yeah. Did you see? Wow. You think that the dough is ready. But we're still going to put all the water there. So get the water, be speed up the dough at a little bit more faster, and add, pour the water little by little. Right on the edge? Yeah, yeah. On top of the dough. We have to keep doing this process for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Remember, we don't want to pass the 20 minutes. Put a little bit of olive oil on the floor here. I'm checking the dough. Perfect. So now be careful. Don't just pull it. Grab a piece and cut it like a mozzarella. Cut. Some, just I don't want to mess it up. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. It's like a glue. Yes, that's what we want. Glue. Then this way I have the retro. This way it's easy to take it out. So I want to tell you, how do you know if you made a good dough? When the dough machine is clean. Oh. If the dough machine is clean, you made a good dough. Now watch this, wait. Okay. Pull, and we open it. Look. Mm -hmm. Pull. Pull? And open it, like that. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it is easy, yeah, because it's right. <laughs> Voila, and then we close like a... Just fold. Camicia. Look how strong it is. Touch. Yeah. touch. I know, I know. I'm, I'm seeing the bubbles already coming out. That's 75 percent hydration. Oh, so all of oil strong. on top. Very strong. This is from when we yes. touched it there before. Now we close. <coughs> room temperature. Room temperature. Everything in room temperature at this point. That's it. Really? So we let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. We let, relax a little bit the gluten time and then we make the balls. Wow. Okay, voila. How much was that? 25 minutes? About 25 minutes, yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh my God. The door already <laughs> relaxed. Open it lightly. And this is how you make the ball. You want to have, uh, you want to create a, uh, a balloon and then close. Like a mozzarella. The same. And then you close. That's the ball. Wow. Can I try? Yeah, of course. No, I make many times, and but, put that under. but I'll make, I make dough many times, but my dough never felt like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dough feels completely different. So you have to have a dough box now like this one. Then. I know, I know. I already, <laughs> I already <laughs> bought it on the link on the description, everybody. Yeah, take it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, put the, that's, that's, uh, that's okay. I never use this, but it's fine. It looks, it seems fine. Little bit of flour under, and now go ahead and put it there. Make it fast because this dough uh, is drying out. It dries dries up really quick. Okay. So let's get, take it out and the surprise is now. This dough is going to be ready in one hour. One hour. That's Believe crazy. it or not, one hour. While we wait, let's go ahead and season some steaks. Oh my God. Yeah. Here I'm, we uh, I'm super excited to learn. I never <laughs> see this meat. So usually with normal steaks like this, I put garlic powder. But, but this one needs we respect. Wanted, okay, yeah, yeah? respect. It's like, it's like a, don't put pineapple, no, right? No, okay, of course. <laughs> with this one here, the beautiful marbling, we want to present this as much as possible, only salt and pepper. Season it properly. Good. You can be more. more. Now, this is a thick cut, you see? So you can season it really, really, really. Now, I'll be honest with you, Vito. Yeah. This is too much for just me and you. Okay. This is too much for me, you, and the other people oh, that are here. At least we can uh, 
share with other we people. have to put this on the pizza <laughs> okay. but first you're gonna taste it you know what i mean of before course. we put it of course i'm excited Good. my friend perfect look at that beautiful season the edges excellent perfectly seasoned good Fantastic. job brother thank you now outside we go to grill let's go. are you ready which one you have like 15 here <laughs> uh choose whatever one you want let's go and of course we're and getting ready the barbecue outstanding my friend vito are you ready and the moment of the truth <laughs> hey, i'm super scared to be honest no, no don't be but scared but you explained to me a couple of things so hopefully i got this yes uh, be aware of the flames and we actually want the flames of course okay. we want a little bit of the flames when it flares up no more than 10 seconds. 10 ah. seconds, okay. 10 seconds on the flame. On the flame, okay. More than 10 seconds, not okay. 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 All right. You tell me. Okay. Let's go. That's a super expensive meat. So put I'm it sorry. over there. Right here. <laughs> yes. I was about to put it right here. No, already. don't put it there. First mistake. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. And then, and then and we'll rotate. We turn it. In the first 10 seconds, nothing's going to happen. And then? Flame all the way. Yes. Exactly. You see? No sizzling. No, no, nothing. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. So when I start to flame and then I twist it. <clears throat> yes, it's coming it's up. start to count? Yes. Yes, it's literally. One, it's two. Not yet. Okay. It's literally butter, you know? It's butter coming up. I'm scared. Uh, yeah, One, now it starts going two, crazy. Flip. Three. Rotate. Four. Beautiful. Gentle. Good. Now flip right there. Good. Put it right back over there. Oh, right, right, right there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And then now you rotate. Oh, so I keep it there. Keep it that one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're not gonna. We're gonna flip this constantly here. Right here. Yeah. Flip it right there. Grab it from the bottom. Flip. Beautiful. Good. Now we're just gonna continue flipping it right here without rotating time, the grill. Every time it gets. You hot. know why we're gonna do this? Because I want to see you sweat a little bit. Give me that. Uh, oh, you want two grill? Okay. Flip. <laughs> Yes, oh, Jeez. good. Oh my God, <laughs> what is happening, Vito? Uh-huh, good, Every good, okay. Flip the other side again. Good, leave it, leave it, don't flip, don't flip. Beautiful, flip right away. Good, one, two, three, four, five, flip. Why on good, this side? Oh and because God. the other side is already good. Flip again, flip again, flip again, flip again. Good, uh -huh. now rotate, rotate, rotate the grill. Rotate the grill, rotate the grill, rotate the grill. Go, voila! Good job, Vito! Good, good, <laughs> good job. You see, it's okay, uh, but okay. it's not perfect yet. Uh, we need this side a little bit more. So flip it. Right here. Yep, flip it again. Beautiful. See how this side is much better? Yeah. So rotate and we continue. Now we're going to focus on that side. Ah, okay. okay? okay, okay so this side it. is already good. We don't want this side anymore. So when you flip, immediately flip again. Ten. Good. Opla. Good. Flip again. Perfect. Good. And one more. Let's do one more. And one more. Rotate. Rotate. Easy Voila. To burn this pizza. Uh, Perfect. This pizza. <laughs> it's easy to this burn the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hard part. Just grab it. And we're gonna grab it and just once you grab it here, we're gonna hold it right oh, over okay. here. But we're gonna do what I like to call perfume the steak. Yeah. And it's literally like this. Put it back. Perfect. <whistles> Look at that golden brown. You see that? Yeah. Now we do the same thing the other side. Yes, okay. You're smiling a lot. You look like a kid Smile, on the I candy store. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. Perfume, perfume. So now you're bringing the charcoal flavor into the meat. That's what you're doing. Two, four, that's it. Oh my God. Shoo. Look at that. Does that look better than a nice pizza? Nice and crunchy. Definitely, yes. <laughs> my God. If you do longer than 10 seconds on the flame, it tastes bitter. Uh huh. So 10 seconds, okay. Longer than 10 seconds, pfft. We got a beautiful crust, we got the perfume, but now it's still completely raw. And we wait how long it's gonna get the temperature. Anyway, what about, temperature? about 10 minutes to 15 minutes. No, but what temperature is gonna get inside? We want this one at 135. Okay, cover up. Cover it up. Let's wait to get to 140. And 140 is That's done, right. ready to go. Ah. Let's go get ready the pizza. Okay, Guga. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. It's lovely ready. Take a look. Wow. That's the point of fermentation. So now, Let's not waste the time and let's let me show you. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the pizza a little bit different because here we're gonna use it. Guys, are you ready? You got this from my driveway. Yes, uh, I boil it, I clean it really well, and now they are really good. Yeah, you clean it yes. extra good. Extra, extra what good. What are you gonna I do boil. with this? You'll see. Something <laughs> new you never see on my channel. So this is how you take out the the dough from the box. Cut. The most now I become a pizza chef. Everybody. Yes, the huh? most important uh, tools in the like I think I saw I say that already is the spatula, because look at this. You wanna cut all the uh, sides. Never pull. No. And then more flour, you wanna put it there, and then under, you have to pinch it. Lift uh, it up, lift it up, 
And then if you feel that it's sticking on the peel, go ahead and put more and flour. More. Oh. Then boom, take it out. I see. Now, like this, on top of the flour. Close this, otherwise it's gonna dry out. Got it. Okay, you, need to, you wanna have all the dough covered with flour. So okay. this is how we stretch. So we press gently the air to the crust. We don't touch the center. See what I'm doing? Yeah. The, te the center we can go later and press a little lighter. Ah, oh, you start with the edges and in the end, because it's gonna pop. Yes, so I gently see. now you use your hands, lift it up, take off all the flour. We don't wanna have flour. Flour is over now. Done. Mm. So now we press more stronger. This is air, touch. Yeah, I know, that, that's what dope. you want. Yeah. We wanna push the air. So now, look, we have 75%, look how strong it is. Put olive oil everywhere, everywhere. With a little brush, we wanna go on the crust, gently. For this pizza, I wanna go ahead and uh, use your special seasoning. So I wanna put those just on top of the crust. Don't worry if it goes on the floor. Not too much, okay? A little bit, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Uh, over yet. <laughs> and now, here we go. Oh my God, you're gonna make a pizza rock. Yeah, gently, gently, not, not too, uh, too hard. Go Why ahead. are you doing that? You'll see now. <laughs> gently, you go ahead, this is probably too heavy. You go ahead and put the stone on top of the pizza. Mm. You don't wanna put it in order. So for this pizza, guys, we prepare cacio e pepe that we cook really slowly and we made a cream like uh, you see right here on the video. It's uh, very easy to make. Just a little bit of water, a lot of cacio, a little bit of pepper, and then you waste, and then uh, here we go, this, the cream that we're gonna use for this pizza, and then the fresh mozzarella. So let's go ahead and uh, let's cook this pizza. Okay, here we go, we got the peel. So, Wow, how easy you took that out and put that yeah, back it's in. A, it's right. a little That's bit, not easy. That's not it's easy. It's a little bit uh, complicated. That's not easy to do. Much more long time. When you make something like this, it needs to be fast. So now we can go in the oven and we have to, boom, one shot in the oven. This is going to be hard. This guy, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just happy I'm not doing it. Let's go. Because I didn't think we were going to make a... Uh, Stone rocks pizza. <laughs> okay, Guga, so for this pizza here, we, you see, I cook it halfway only. You cook halfway, yeah. Yes. Wow, it looks good already. I love I the know, puffing and everything. But it's not perfect. So we're gonna flip it over, boom, boom, boom. Look at the air pockets here. Mm. We wanna have uh, those air pockets to put uh, the ingredients. So oh. we, wanna, we wanna keep the ingredients in there. This way, when you get, we're going to eat the pizza, you're gonna have this explosion of that flavor separate from others. So in this case, this one, we're gonna put the whole wool uh, the tomato. The whole tomato. Yeah, we're gonna wanna give it a piece. And now, let's go ahead and let's put the cheese, fresh mozzarella on top of the, the pizza where is no, uh, no ingredients. Done, we finish up with a little bit of uh, olive oil everywhere, even on the crust. And now, we can go ahead and finish up the cooking part. I'm gonna lower down to the minimum temperature of the oven. Okay. That's the good thing of using gas. So we're gonna go ahead and put the pizza far from the flame. And we wait to cook the pizza nice and brown color from the sides. Got it. Okay, Guga, the pizza, now it's 90% ready. Wow. Look at this. Wow. Let me show you inside the crunch that we are talking about. Let's go. Let's go. And uh, voila, the wow. pizza. It's lovely ready. Uh, not ready, because the fun part is gonna come out now. Oh, oh, oh. Now it's time to make the Wagyu. Because Are you the ready? Because the pizza is not complete. Oh, but we're gonna on. add Wagyu here? Like always say, shh. Ooh, oh, I wanna try it. See, touch, bye. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Soft and crunchy. Soft and crunchy, everybody. At the same time. <laughs> wow. Here we go, my God. My God. You the did pizza. a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you, it was hard. I, it was hard? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready Thank to try you. it? Yeah, let's put it, All let's right. try it. Let's go ahead. I wanna so, try, I wanna put this on this beast of pizza. Here. Is it your first time having a Japanese Wagyu A5, the most marbled A5. steak in the world? What that means A5? A5 is the highest grading. Jeff. The diamonds of steak, everybody. The most expensive steak in the world. Oh my Nothing God. Nothing comes close. Kobe beef, Wagyu A5. You cut the, I cut the, my beast pizza here. Cut the cheese. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my God. What is that? Ooh. That is what we call perfection. Ooh. Oh, oh, look at that. Do you see the, how much fatty it is? Look at that. I saw that, look. <laughs> 
That is the perfect Best combination, video. everybody. Oh, oh my God. Crunch, <laughs> that <laughs> That's soft and crunchy and juicy. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, Vito. Hold you on. do the same thing Hold that on. I do with the, with the beats. Oh, oh, yeah. Vito, please, please, please. You never tried in your life. Okay. No, never. Okay, okay, this okay. Is my first time. Yes. Because I'm very curious because a lot of. I don't like it. Yeah, a lot of people think it's too much, it's too rich. And some people say it's the best in the world, and some people say it's like, it's too rich for me. I want to know what you think. You ready? You to, uh, I'm ready. Uh, your heart is pumping. It, it is. <laughs> Let's try. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I think Vito went to heaven. <laughs> I'm not joking, man. This is really, really the best. I know. It's almost emotional. I'm not joking. <laughs> It's emotional to taste the meat like this. All this video is about this moment. Mm -hmm. We have to marry the pizza with the Wagyu. I A5, $2,500 steak. Oh my God. Oh, that's wow. it, that's it. Save that's that. it. Save <laughs> that. Save that. Save that. Save that. Yeah, I'll see you in a little bit when we finish this video. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> And the moment of the truth, when you do, I'm doing this because you do this all the time in your video. Oh, my really, videos? I'm, I'm serious, I watch your videos because this the part of when you taste. So uh -huh. give me the pizza, please. Oh, oh my God. Thank you so <laughs> much, my friend. Look Thank at that, you. the pizza, it's still glistening. It's still glistening. <laughs> okay, I oh, want to try. Wanna, I really want to taste it. If you've been watching all this video, thank you so much. And now is the moment of the Guys, trip. if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscriber yes, button. Are you ready, Vito? And also, his link is down below. Are you ready? Yes. Cheers. Chin -chin, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes you taste something so good, it's hard to put it in words. And this is in one of them, everybody. I love pizza. And I love Wagyu. Vito doesn't want to talk. No. No? Cut the video, finish. It deserves, Thank you so much, guys. It deserves a piece of silence, everybody. Yes. Wow. Quiet. One minute of uh, quiet. <laughs> One moment of silence. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you, I'll see you the next one. Guys, best pizza I ever tasted. Thank you for this experience. Comment below if you want to see more mm. together. Ciao.